Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to test this actuator. I built it last week. It has a brushless motor, encoder and planetary gearbox. So today we would like to test the backlash and the torque from this actuator. Let's get started. So this is my actuator from the last week. This is actuator from the two weeks before. And they both have more or less the same planetary gearbox. So it's enough to test only one actuator and the second should have the same parameters. So today I'm going to test this one. In order to attach the arm on the output shaft of the actuator, I've made this piece. So this is an aluminum pulley in which I made this uh, notch with a file. This notch goes on top of this uh, keyway on the shaft. And I also drilled six holes and I made a thread in these holes for these uh, M3 screws. And I also 3D printed some of these parts uh, like this. We can assemble all this in the small nice package. So first of all, this part goes on top over here and afterwards it fixed with the four screws. This is a very nice fit. So I should apply a lot of force to put it in. And the next step is to put these four screws. As a next step, I will install this modified pulley on top of the shaft. And to fix this pulley, there is a small screw over here and here. The next, I will put the double pins in these holes. They are not really necessary, but I decided to put them. And now I can install this small piece over here. And I should align the holes with the threaded holes on the pulley. And here it's properly installed. So with this pulley it's easier to fill the backlash on this gearbox. Now in this piece I need to install the bearing over here. And this is my bearing. So now this piece goes on top over here and we should align the holes for the screws and for the double pins. Now I can fix this part with the screws over here. I have this cover which goes on top over here and it fixes with all the screws. And the main assembly is ready and it looks quite nice. This additional bearing here I install it to increase the possible payload for this uh, output shaft. I also reprinted the support. So this is the old support and you see the old support it was like this and the new one has square part and with this square part the actuator goes inside so this piece of the planetary gearbox goes inside of this uh, part and like this it's gonna be well fixed and it's not gonna rotate anywhere. And this is with the support assembled. And now it's time to take O drive. O drive tool is on, motor is connected, Raspberry Pi is connected. This is a good sign. Motor rotates in one direction and into another direction. Usually this means that calibration is well done. So let's go to the set point 200,000 and this is default speed. It does work. This is great. Now let's increase the speed. Velocity limit is 200,000. Set position 100,000. Set position 0. Set position 200,000. Great. Cool. So this is the arm which I'm going to use for the test. This is 30 by 30 millimeter aluminum beam. And this is the holder for this arm. So there is a six holes over here, six plus uh, one in the center. The arm goes inside. And afterwards, this one is, should be fixed at these seven screws. So I fix this part with the seven screws over here. So we can see it from inside. This reducer, of course, back drivable. 
even though the reduction ratio is 40. So reduction ratio is quite high, but still back drivable. Okay, now the arm goes in and we can fix the arm with the four screws over here. I fixed the arm uh, with these four bolts and the nuts are inside. So now we need to fix uh, the actuator. As you can see, I fixed the actuator. So I fix it here and here on these uh, two aluminum profiles. And these two aluminum profiles is fixed with this bracket and with this bracket to the table. So if I move the arm, the motor rotates. So it's back drivable, as I said. And also we can see that there is a quite significant backlash. So you see the motor does not rotate, but the arm moves. So with this arm, the backlash is six millimeters. So this is the arm calibration. It rotates in one direction and in another direction. Let's move it a little bit, like set point 1000, set point 3000, set point 40,000, set point zero. I've just put a drive at the velocity limit of 5000 like this. The motor going to rotate quite slowly and this is going to be the safest way for this test. Set point 40,000. So you see that motor rotates slowly. I hope this is going to be the safest way of doing this test. I've attached this uh, paper bag to the end of this arm and like this I can put uh, something inside uh, to test the payload. And I'm gonna to start the test with this uh, one kilo of rice. So the current limit at the motor is uh, 10 amp. This is default value. Okay, I'm gonna release it slowly just to see that it holds. It does hold for the moment. So let's put the uh, set point at 40,000. Okay, set point at 45,000. It cannot handle it. So maybe I need to increase the current in the motor. So now the current limit on the motor is 20 amp. Let's put back our load. Go to the set point 40,000. Set point 45,000. It can handle this uh, payload at 20 amps. The motor is still cold and our drive is cold. And now let's add one kilogram of sugar to the payload. Everyone knows that the sugar is bad for you, but is it bad for the motor? Let's test it. Two kilograms of payload. The arm holds. So let's go to the set point 40,000. Set point 45,000. It can handle it. This is good. I decided to add some other stuff to the payload like this one in order to have the total payload of uh, 2.46 kilogram because this will correspond to the torque of 1.5 kilogram meter because this is the maximum torque allowed for this uh, gearbox. Okay, this is a test of 1.5 kilogram meter torque. The payload is 2.46 kilogram. It holds. Let's go to the set uh, point 40,000. Still holds. Let's go to the set point 45,000. Whoo, it does work. Great. The motor is still cold and all drive is cold. This is success. And just to celebrate that it works, some moves of this arm. Like 80,000. 5,000, 80,000, 5,000, 80,000, 5,000. Great. And so we've tested this robotic actuator, which we built last week and the week before. And here's the results. So we used the arm with this weight and with this center of mass. And we saw that the backlash is 6mm for this arm, so it corresponds to the 37 arc minute 
or 0.6 degrees. Also, the torque from this arm, just from the arm without payload, is 0.12 kilogram meter. And uh, the maximum allowed torque for this uh, planetary gearbox is 1.5 kilogram per meter. So the maximum allowed payload with this arm is 2.46 kilogram. And we tested it and it handled it quite well. So this is great. It means that we can continue to use this actuator for some interesting projects. And all this was possible thanks to my Patreon. Here's their names. You're the best guys. If you would like to support my channel, you can do this either via PayPal or via the Patreon. All the links in the description to this video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because next time we're gonna do something fun. See you next time.